is of Flannery and Catherine. Come on up, ladies. Say it like fashionably bomb. <laughs> That's the biggest. She kind of threw I me off it. there. So. <laughs> anyway, so basically, we are a fashion and cocktail blog. Um, so this was our first official business meeting. <laughs> Apparently, I was upset about something. I can't remember. But seriously, we have been working together since we were little girls. We've been making videos. We've been dressing up and doing photo shoots. Um, we've been even mixing up concoctions in the kitchen without alcohol. <laughs> so basically, we got started uh, when we realized that there weren't that many women bloggers making blogs about cocktails. And yet, it seems to me that like most cocktails are probably drunk by women. Yeah. So. So we wanted it to be something fun and obviously geared towards women. This happens to be one of our most popular cocktails that we've ever made. It's our cupcake champagne cocktail. Obviously champagne, sprinkles, those are all things that women love. So this got a lot of attention um, and tons of comments. Um, it has butterscotch schnapps in it, it has a little bit of grenadine. This is actually a photo that we took at the Fresno Fair. Um, we like to do some local photo shoots. Um, and this was for our cotton candy teeny, which is also a big hit. It actually has cotton candy in it. You pour a drink on top. Yeah, it's delicious. So this was one of our first attempts to do something very um, high fashion. This was in my backyard. We're picking lemons. Um, we actually were inspired by a Vogue magazine shoot that we saw. So we thought we'd try and recreate it. And the cocktail that goes with it is our lemon meringue pie drop, which is amazingly delicious. That's an actual meringue floating on top. <laughs> uh, we also do a lot of um, drinks that are related to holidays. So this was one we did for Thanksgiving. And uh, we made these headdresses. And um, the drink was a, was a cranberry sauced cocktail, which was really good as well. Um, this is our most recent creation. This was for St. Patrick's Day. It was an Irish mojito. Uh, we replaced the rum with whiskey and we muddled kiwi in it. Um, we like to do a lot of photos that are bright and colorful. It's kind of like our whole thing. So this was a perfect example of that one. And we also like to incorporate things like the Jersey Shore and other pop culture references. So here you can tell we're dressed like Snooky, both of us. <laughs> Um, I've got a pickle in my hand, if you can see at the bottom. Um, this was a Jersey Shore champagne cocktail. It actually had orange juice, because they're all orange and <laughs> <laughs> Um So this is the cocktail that has currently blown our stats out of the water. Um, this was actually <laughs> featured on um, CBS news this was featured on esquire magazine online uh, refinery 29 which is a fashion magazine um, so that one was a huge hit yeah, we also do a lot of um, musical references so this one was um, from the 80s obviously the guns and roses flannery was slash i was axel rose <laughs> and the drink was a guns and rose water mojito. So. It was so tasty. So um, this was our version of a Little Wayne video. We are big hip hop fans. Um, we made it rain on some leprechaun strippers in this video. <laughs> Both the strippers and the yeah. <laughs> right, and us. And the rappers, yeah. So that one was a lot of fun. We love music, love hip hop. In fact, here's another one. Yeah, this one was, I don't know if you remember Snow um, Informer, there's a little song called Informer from 1992 and um, we, this is one of the first music videos that we copied and remade and then we made a snow teeny complete with a snowball on top. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're also really influenced by film. Um, obviously this is Forrest Gump but we thought it'd be fun to kind of take his dull boring outfit and glam it up. We're wearing Burberry dresses um, red patent leather heels, um, Louis Vuitton bag in the middle. 
Um, and we also made the cocktail to go with it. It was called the Box of Chocolates, which was really good. It was really good. Um, we're also influenced by art. So this is Frida Kahlo, um, both of us, <laughs> and Flannery's cat, Flannery Jr. Um, and yes, we made those eyebrow, unibrows, yes. to go with the drink. And the drink was a, a Mexican hot chocolate, which was really delicious. It was yeah. spiked as well. So we've both traveled all around the world. Um, Catherine happens to uh, be really in love with India. She spent a couple years there. So you'll see on our blog several cocktails that are influenced by India using Indian spices and flavors. And she brought a lot of clothes uh, back from India, so we tend to do a lot of Bollywood photo shoots. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also are part Mexican. Um, our mother Yolanda is in the back. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Props to mom. Um, and these are just two of our uh, videos. They're clips from our videos that we did um, for um, yeah. Dia de los Muertos. Okay, so one thing we like to do too is we like to do remixes. So you'll take a traditional drink, and this was the salty dog. Um, and we put our own twist on it and turned it into the salty hot dog. So we muddled jalapenos into it and then put a little gummy hot dog on as a garnish. <laughs> um, and also we love to do collaborations with other people. So uh, this is one of our collaborations. I don't know if you can see in the corner, we dressed up as the men and the women. This is the Mr. and Mrs. cocktail, and um, this is with Mrs. Lillian, who's a uh, stylist in LA. Yeah. And um, that's us. Um, Dia de los Muertos, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. And anyway, so um, thanks, guys. And we're on Twitter. We're F Bombed Girls. Uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, we have big future plans. We want to write a cocktail book. Um, we also would love to have our own show on the Food Network. <laughs> so if you know anyone, 